We we're live. Boom! Have some of those apples. Right. So we're doing a live one. How exciting! This is just a uh, a quick one. This isn't going to be the normal kind of hour and a half, two hour vlog that kind of affair that we normally do. Um, I'm going to do this reasonably quickly because there's a a fair few bits and pieces coming up over the next well over the next kind of 24 hours for me. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a busy one. So I can't spend a massive amount of time with you you bunch today, I'm afraid. But uh, I will certainly do what I can. I I know that last week the vlog was on a uh, was on a uh, Tuesday, but I wanted to try and do something you know i wanted to reach out and uh, and have some love with you guys before uh, before uh, yeah things happen anyway i'm just getting all of my bits and pieces going on there i i things should be happening and they're not i don't know i don't know what's going on here anyway <laughs> someone just called me handsome i saw that i saw it i saw it who is it hello everyone and thank you so much for joining us let's have a little scan through shall we i can't talk i you know you you're used to this by now the fibro fog and things just in my brain <laughs> means the words don't come out of my mouth there's a kind of a rough idea but then nothing um but anyway uh what we got denny's hello gareth how we doing panzer nz 1965 jinx well hello to you too todd's reviews is in the house um hello mr todd uh tommy gun votes babas 0097 uh, James Mc, McDonough, Raid, M, Al, I don't know how to pronounce that. Hi, hello, how are you doing? Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Michael Craig, Vape Geek, Lynn, how are you doing? Lynn or L dash N, Y N? <laughs> Lynn always calls, when I do a vlog, always calls it a vlog. It's not a vlog. It's not. <laughs> uh cj louisa colin michael sean there's a load of people down here there's a load of people i can't keep up with everyone mr todd's being a bellend <laughs> i can see that already <laughs> right then um yes piston head shirt yes piston head people gave me this a, a, a while ago bike related very exciting um anyway thank you so much for joining me thank you for everyone that's coming on board i know this is a super last notice one so i have no idea how many people are viewing it my i don't i've forgotten how to use the internet <laughs> so i don't really know what's going on but uh but no it's a it's a last minute job like i say just because i wanted to uh, get some content out directly to you guys before i'm away because tomorrow i'm going to austria because my uh, my sister-in-law is getting married to my friend and um so we're off to austria to schladming i believe it is and uh go in there for the for the week so what's been happening is that over the over the weekend over the last today included i've done i have recorded a bunch of videos so to, yesterday was actually the first five o'clock release and then there's been a five o'clock release today tonight and there will be a five o'clock release every night until uh saturday there should be a five o'clock on saturday as well so uh yeah that's in fact yes i've just finished um editing the five o'clock one for saturday and it's for the suck my mod tank from watofo and uh, i have well you'll have to see it but just i have ripped off matt something chronic at the uh, for my intro because <laughs> it amused me and i'm like that but there we go so there is going to be a fuck ton of, uh, of 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 content coming up for you guys over the next few days, over the next week, and um, I am back late Monday night, I believe. So I'll be back in the studio on Tuesday, hopefully, where I'll be able to do a follow up vlog and uh, be able to let you know of the new stuff that's come in. But uh, but yeah, so before then, you're going to have to cope with me wearing the same T-shirt for more than one review because I recorded more than one review at a time, <laughs> and I know. Some people get awfully upset about that. Um, oh, hey, vaping V1CK is in the house. Has his Bonjour. <laughs> if you've not seen him yet, go and see it, vaping V1CK. Um, he's got a rather splendid channel and does all sorts of um, funky little uh, devices and a lot of stuff that I don't get as well. So go and check him out and so give him a subscribe. If you haven't done so already, you should. And uh, and his intros are fantastic. They they really are just marvelous, genius. So, 
Uh, I can see a lot of people saying hello. I can't go back and uh, say hello to everybody, but hello and thanks very much for joining us. Um, I'll probably mention the Austria thing at the end as well, just for those people that, that didn't hear that, that are now joining in. I think I've got something in my eye. I think I've got something in my little eyeball, you know. There you go. Anyway. <laughs> I might go blind during this. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm looking over here. I've got no notes, no notes to show you, or to talk about, to read. <laughs> That's all we've got for, eight words. Um, but uh, I did want to tell you about a couple of things. Nothing really. I've had one item, I think. I think I've had only the one item come in this week. I think it's only the one. It might be, it might be more. I don't know. Um, but I think it's only the one. But I have started using this, which is the, uh, the, the Cthulhu Azathoth. And I think I told you guys about this before. Um, I don't really know why they've called it the Azazoth, because people are going to confuse that with the Azeroth. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know why that's a thing. Anyway, this is basically the, uh, the, the barrel on this is essentially, um, got a screw top in exactly the same way that a velocity does. So you unscrew that and it allows airflow to go into the sides. However, you do also have on this one, unlike the velocity, um, you do have airflow going in underneath the deck as well. So it comes out underneath your coil. I've called that up today. Um, got it squonking. I'm still thinking, wondering about what to take to Austria. To be honest with you, I've got no idea. Um, I need to take a couple of uh, a couple of setups and just not a Scooby, not a Scooby. What to take? Because <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to break something. Um, <laughs> Uh, Dean, it was a naming competition on Reddit, and someone came up with that name. What? Well, someone came up with the Azadoth. Really? And they went with that. Well. There we go. There we go. Um, Eric also asked, did I get the Compass RDA from Steelvac? No, I didn't. Um, I don't know. if I can't remember if I didn't, if I just didn't answer them or I turned it down. I can't remember. But I know that Mr. Todd does have it. So he's definitely worth going over and checking because he's an angry fool um, when he, with, with, uh, with how he's been using it, quite frankly. He's just been, uh, he's been a, a violent angry cloud chasing sub -oma. so you best go and check his review out when that happens um uh dns84 what are you do what are you going to austria what are you going to do in austria holiday or work um as i mentioned at the start dns you may have missed it but uh, i'm actually going for my sister-in-law and friends um wedding so uh yeah we've got a we've got a thing over there so uh and having a few days away with the family as well which will be nice and uh, battery mooch is in the hazizal this, I can never, I can't get away with doing that, can I? That's That should never be a thing that I do again. I know. Um, <laughs> Mr. Todd hates me. <laughs> uh, but no, you should go and check it out because we've, we've cracked it, folks. We've cracked it. We've broken Mr. Todd. He's now he's now low coil man. Now that, that's how he rolls. It's just all about the clouds and all about the coils. It's fucking marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear um have i got the new vupu rage 157 daniel carter no i haven't but uh no that's it no i haven't <laughs> it's not really a great deal i can do to say about that one delta q squared hey just bought thank you very much for the ten dollar donation you can do so um with the little dollar sign where the where the chat thingy is where you enter your comments if you want to that's all going into a uh, a fund to pay for the vets bill uh, since we lost dizzy so thank you very much for that luckily this this coming week isn't costing me anything otherwise i'll be buggered but uh, no thank you very much for your for your donation delta q squared hey just bought the scottish m vapes dna 250 lipo squonk based on your review of their mech squonk as usual thanks for all the stuff that you do and please upload the full review of the death trap rda i absolutely will um i have been enjoying this death trap uh, the uh what's it called the death wish by death trap no death trap by death wish there we go um and uh and i have uh, i have been loving this a lot this has been uh one of these one of these sort of vapes that i have been using pretty much every day since i've had it so um i'm putting a bunch of builds in it i'm doing a whole bunch of different things so i can really kind of get to grips with it so then once i get back from being in uh in austria then i can get onto the review of that bad boy um pretty soon 
hopefully that's the idea anyway because i really am enjoying using it and if you've got a honking great big um uh, mod that's going to be able to take a 30 mil rda then that's uh, that's definitely something worth checking out and i believe evolution vaping have still got them in stock um i don't know if my uh, i don't know what well, should have turned that off um i don't know if my uh, my code is going to work for that one but uh when i when I do the review, I will let you guys know. Sorry, I'm just turning off my phone so it doesn't keep binging and bonging. Um, right, what else have we got? Oh, Volker Hit, thank you very much for your five euro donation, Volker. That's that's very much appreciated. I very, very, very much. I can't talk. I do very much appreciate it. <laughs> I've talked so much getting all these reviews out over the last couple of days that my brain's just done. <laughs> um, Right. What else have we got going on here? Is there anything else I need to pay attention? What's your best cure for vapor's tongue? Um, mints slash chewing gum slash sniffing coffee grounds. Boom. There you go. Some of those apples. Um, but uh, brush your tongue and drink water. Water is a key. I mean, you do have to drink a lot of water. If you're vaping anyway, you should always up your uh, up your water level. Um, but uh, but no, absolutely. Some of that. Um what else have we got here? What else have we got? I want to see a death trap RDA on a Minikin V2. Do you really? Do you? You know it's not going to fit, don't you? Don't you? I can't pronounce your name. Someone gaming. I. <laughs> it's going to overhang quite considerably. Uh -uh, but uh, I might show you. I don't know. <laughs> to say fruity i feel in a little while <laughs> have you seen the new asmodus squonk jared garrett asks yes i have and i've had a little play with one as well um it's uh it was the uh, pre-production one and um so so it's yeah i've had a look at it i haven't seen the production one yet so i'm looking forward to seeing what it's like in the flesh because it certainly seemed a very interesting idea but uh, there did seem to be something that could potentially put a few people off but we'll see we'll see what happens when it actually comes to fruition i mean those guys really kind of know what they're doing on a lot of things so hopefully they uh, they will have worked will, will they will have worked through any issues that they've got um uh, do i need to show this gentleman the death trap on a minikin v2 is it because i'm just a thoroughly nice person that i put myself out to such great extent yes yes it is just the word hero gets banded around very often and sometimes without good need however in this instance <laughs> to be honest with you it doesn't look too terrible there you go you've got quite the uh, quite the overhang going on there but uh, it doesn't look as horrific as it will do on some mods. On the top there, there's still plenty of space for it. It's just the very front there that it does overhang. So hopefully that answers your question. Now then, what else is going on? <laughs> Daniel Carter, what's your favorite setup at the moment? As I always say, Daniel, it will depend massively, hugely, on uh, on exactly how i feel at any given time to be honest with you obviously the death trap on the drone is doing me marvelous work i'm loving it loving it loving it loving it loving it like that and uh, but also i mean you know i did the uh, the suck my mod tank on top of the paranormal um and a little bit of information if you do like the lost vape gear the paranormal um may be getting released next week so you will see this one if you've had the where is it where's it gone where's it gone if you like the therian with the dna 75c screen the paranormal is kind of like a little bit of a posher version and they have fixed a couple of the challenges i believe that were on this for the early kind of pre-production and reviewer models so uh, that's going to be interesting and definitely worth keeping an eye on um but no so it's going to be dependent i mean what i've got in front of me at the moment is i've got i've got the uh, the lost vape with the with the death wish thingy i've got the geek vape with the, the cthulhu thingy it's a lot of thingies i've got the paranormal with the suck my mod thingy and i've got the oceanis with the uh asmodus whatever it's called vulva no it's not vulva is it ah, valuna it's not a vulva it's a valuna oh dear <laughs> i haven't had a drink or anything i haven't i haven't had any booze for bloody ages <clears throat> anyway 
Uh, when he back on the vape team, Simon Rogers said, um, I, I did speak to uh, Mike recently and I was going to be going on. Um, they asked me if I wanted to go on this week, but obviously I'm away in Austria, so I can't. Um, so I'm waiting to hear if they want me back or if they uh, if they if they don't. I, I, I don't know. I don't. That'd be cool, though. I'd like to go on there. That'd be that'd be good fun with those guys. Um, have you got your hands on the Watofo Ram, says Steve Burns. No, I have not. Um, I don't believe the, I don't think the review models have come out yet. Anyway, I'm pretty sure they haven't. I don't think they have. But, uh, but yeah, I haven't got one. Anyway, so it's a thing. Now then, as always, with the chat, I am going to, because we're a little bit freeform, we're a little bit sort of flowing tonight, um, I may, I am going to try and keep an eye on on things, but if you do, at Vaping Biker, at the start of your message, you've got more of a chance of seeing it. Obviously, if you do do a super chat, so you do donate something to the channel, then that kind of highlights everything up, excuse me, in uh, in bright colours, so I can't miss it. So, uh, yeah, I've got a definite chance of, uh, of seeing that, but just so you're aware. Um, uh, <laughs> have you looked at the Geek Vape Perineum? <laughs> yes, that new Geek Vape, um, that new Geek Vape mod. That, I haven't got that yet either. Uh, it's interesting to see that we've got something coming out in a 26650. Uh, I thought we'd kind of forgotten about 26650, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens with those guys. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to it because I do like a lot of the Geek Vape stuff. It does kind of make me pretty happy. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing exactly what's going on. <laughs> Now that oi, Addy Tuney's in the house, and so is Daniel DJ LSB. Oh, look at that! Look, there's all sorts of famous people in it. You're all way more famous than I am. <laughs> I feel special. Anyway, <laughs> Cameron Blanks asks, Banks asks, uh, Goon or Druga? To be honest, I can't remember the vape on the Druga, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about it. Um, how's the good 1.5 working out for you? Um, yeah, Gr uh, Grim did have the issue with the single coil, and I did as soon as I uploaded the review, I did mention it in the uh, in the um, description. But the uh, the thing was. When you buy a goon, you don't really buy it to have a super sort of tightened down airflow. So it's not really a thing for that. However, it is an oversight without a doubt. So it's something that I, I think I, I either cut out or I don't know. I don't know why I didn't include it, but it didn't get included. But I did in the description include it straight away and then um, linked to my Instagram picture that shows what happens with the airflow. So uh, that's the thing. Um, now then. What's your favourite single coil bottom feed RDA, Dean? Don't know. Hadley, maybe. Maybe the Hadley. I've been using the, I used the Gorge this week, or this weekend, uh, while I did a review on uh, on something. On a mech. On a mech that's coming up at the end of the week. Um, so, yeah, there's that. But, I mean, I don't know. Uh, single coil, Death Wish. There you go. Death, death Trap. Death, what, what the fuck? Death Trap. From Deathwish, that's a favourite at the moment. Stupid name, really silly name, but uh, but yeah, that's about as far as it goes when it comes to that. Um, part of the four percent, all the way from South Texas. Hang on, well I've lost you. I've lost it. Oh, here we go. Amanda Jones, welcome in. Amanda, thank you very much for coming and joining us. The 4% Club, if you're wondering what it is, it's a VIP club, and uh, it's quite the exclusive membership because it's the people that make up my viewing public <laughs> that is i have under five percent of my viewing public is female so thank you very much for coming and joining tell all your lady friends that i have gl glorious hair <laughs> i don't know <laughs> getting a haircut tomorrow morning as well for austria oh how exciting new guys cutting the hair now a man of my age i've kind of oh, i've just realized that I, look, I look shit don't i a man of my age kind of has a, a, a very specific bloke trim the beard whenever that gets done and trim the hair because i don't need many things to go wrong to look even more ridiculous than i do normally so, but tomorrow is a different bloke i'm very very scared anyway you don't you don't care Ah, <sighs> dear. Now then, uh, Nathan Smith, newly looking, uh, getting an RTA, drilled it down to the Amit or Kylan. Which do you suggest or any other RTA that uh, may be better? Well, I don't review RTAs. Nathan, you may have noticed. Um, 
However, the uh, what is it? The Kylin, I think, has a smoother airflow than the dual coil Amit, at least. Um, and so, yeah, it depends. But there are other channels that are far better than mine when it comes to reviewing tanks at the moment because I'm a little bit out of the loop. And because of that, I do have a bit of a pain in the dick time when I'm when I'm using tanks. They annoy me if they don't do what they should do immediately. I get very angry. Um, but there we go. What we got going on here? <clears throat> James McDonough says mohawk. I imagine that's a that's a thing for uh, for 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 the haircut. Yes. <laughs> if you're on my vaping biker Facebook page, you will have seen uh, earlier in the week. I did post some old pictures up from like seven years ago with me having. Uh, not really a mohawk, but more of a short strip going down the middle of my head and trying to look all roughy tufty. <clears throat> but there we go. Um, <laughs> vaping V1CK is weird. I have 72% female. <laughs> That's because you're a little dream boat and they all want to turn you. That's what it is. <laughs> Kathleen Hunter, are you okay, Dean? You look tired. No, not really, Kathleen. I am extremely tired because I wanted to uh, push a whole bunch of uh, reviews out for everybody. So there's reviews coming out at five o'clock every day this week. Um, I have been uh, been working terribly, terribly hard. And then that oh, the, 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 the other issue is that I have developed an addiction. And I don't know if there is an, a, a meeting I should go to. I don't know if there is a group. I may have a look on Facebook if there's a particular group or something along those lines. But I have developed an addiction and it is taking over my life, unfortunately, at this current time. And uh, it's, 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 it's been troubling. It's been challenging and um it's 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 certainly interfered with my daily routine and that has been watching parks and recreation where i've crammed basically the last six series in the space of uh, about a week i think and that's bearing in mind that i'm only watching it when i've finished reviewing and uh, and either sitting here at the computer or a few times i have gone downstairs and watched it on the tv but yes so i it's been horrific I finished my review about one o'clock, maybe, in the morning last night. And then the next three hours were spent uh, watching Parks and Recreation and um, marvelling at Nick Offerman's facial moustache. So, uh, yeah, there we go. It's a thing. <laughs> DJ LSB is in the same thing. I don't know why it took me so long to find Parks and Recreation. I don't. I don't know what happened there. I don't. Don't know. Pff, don't know how it went past me. I think I maybe kind of watched the first episode, and and the main character lady just really annoyed me. So I thought this isn't for me. But then I revisited it after watching an interview with Nick Offerman a while ago, and uh, and thought no, this is actually really fucking funny. So stuck with it, and now I'm just horribly, horribly addicted. But on the last season now, episode three of the last season has been watched so uh yeah it's not going to go for long but then then it's going to be it's going to be withdrawals there's a thing about characters about these these on these kind of shows there was dr cox in scrubs that was just amazing and nick offerman in uh, um in uh, in parks and recommendations ron Ber uh, not ron burgundy ron though um who is just amazing they're, they're role models to me i want to be like that when i grow up now then, should we talk about some vaping stuff? Look, we keep talking, I keep going off track. Let me have a little chat about vaping stuff because, because the wonderful things he does. There is a new product to show you. Let me just polish it up. Oh, shit, and fire it at the same time. Um, this thing, look at that, look. That's not big enough, is it? And it lights up, look. Oh, if I turn this light off, you might be able to see it even more. Look, you ready? You ready? Oh great isn't it and then on that side it kind of shows lots of chips and things and stuff and what have you all attached to a board now this one's an interesting one because i'm not entirely sure what it does in as much as it says there's lots of advertising and what have you for it that says that it's a uh, water cooled and and i don't i i can't see how to be honest with you um it also <laughs> Ah, oh, it says it said something else about it that just I don't really understand. I don't really understand. It's huge. It's got a three and a half thousand milliamp hour lipo, I believe, in there at the moment, which I imagine is behind this big kind of A7. It's an AT7. Oh, this confused me. This confused me. 
It's an it's called an AT7 from Alltech, but it's not made by Alltech. It's made be made by Stentorian. Stentorian. Dun, dun, dun. Um, and it's a thing. It's a it's a it's I. Pfft. The fire button is that entire side there. So that whole thing is the fire. Um, it is a kind of a five clicks, get a red light, and we turn it off. So nothing going on there now, which is fun. Not turning on, is it? <laughs> there we go. We're on. We're on. God knows how many clicks that was to turn it on, but it certainly wasn't five. Anyway, that's the thing that's happening. Um, and uh, if you're on the Instagrams, or the uh, Facebook page you may have seen as well. That just to sort of highlight the um, the the size of it, I put four eighteen six fifties lined up on the top of it, on the top of it, ladies and gentlemen, on the top, sat on the top. What I don't know. So yes, a three and a half thousand milliamp hour. Essentially, I mean, it says that it does all sorts of clever things when it comes to recognizing your coils, but it doesn't give you any option with regards to uh, increasing or decreasing wattage or voltage or anything along those lines. Um, and you, you press the button and it's basically an unregulated vape. So I don't really know what's happening with it. Mr. Todd says there's no water cooling. I saw him running at his earlier on with quite some force and a very large hammer in his hand so i don't know if he managed to get into it um with a hammer and chisel but that certainly could have been the case i believe that's how things happen over in fife now then <clears throat> there's lots of people talking and i will pay attention to you in a <laughs> bill hubbard says no water cooling i'm out <laughs> that's tickled me i like that that makes me happy <laughs> so yes there we go so i don't i don't understand the concept of this i don't really uh, it's huge um it's it's uh, i don't get it i don't get it i don't i can't see how all of these chips on this board here would do anything as well i don't i don't really get how that works so i have sent them a bunch of questions so hopefully they'll answer that and i'll be able to give you guys a little bit more sensible information once i'm uh, once i'm back in the uk uh -uh. there you go vaping on a vape video what what <laughs> <laughs> anyway um is there anything else to talk about yes there will be now i'm gonna have a little a brief chat about what the hell happened over my videos over the last week because i i have no idea i cannot remember what i've released i'm not gonna lie to you and so i imagine you probably can't either but i i, I would have said that it's probably gold now then <clears throat> We had the Buster raffle results. They went out. So once again, thank you to everybody that joined in on that bad boy. It's hugely appreciated. And uh, it's brilliant. The fact that Buster is within days now going to be going and get, in fact, what's the date today? Is it? Is it? I don't know. I don't know. That didn't work. Um, shortly, very shortly, if not already, is uh, is getting the help that he needs, which is fantastic. Um, so that's really cool. Then we did the outtakes episode. A lot of people kept asking me about outtakes, and so uh, that's uh, that's what's that's what's happened. That's what's happened. An outtake video went up, and to be honest, I even made myself giggle with it. I'm not going to lie. I don't know whether that makes me a narcissist or what, but uh, I'm not going to lie about it. Train Sonic asked, "How are things with Buster?" I did see a video with Buster over the weekend on his uh, on his Facebook group page thing um, that I linked to underneath the videos that I've done with about Buster. And um, there is uh, he was having an ice cream, so that was good. <laughs> Louisa Love Nails, you did a lot of opening and closing, did I? Is that me? That sounds like I may have been doing dodgy things. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, after the outtakes episode came the Gorgon RDCA, the big old beast from Svomesto. And that certainly did uh, did cause some see, it caused some opinions to happen. That's what happened from that one. Um, and yeah, I mean it's it's an amazing vape. It's a great vape. But can I if you go oh, can I replicate the way I vape from the OBS cheetah? Yes, 
Yes, I can. But that's not the point. And, and there was a lot of people like, here we go. This is not a rant, but I am going to have a little little moan, I guess. Um, people were saying it's over-engineered. Now then, over-engineering takes like um, a product and then does more things to it that don't do anything. Does that make sense? So if this RDA then had spikes coming out and it had wheels and things going around it and then a little abacus pointing down on one side and a, and a springy fucking thing bonking up and down on the other, they would all be pointless. And so therefore it's over-engineered. With the Gorgon, it's not over-engineered because all of those pieces do actually do something. So, you know, that's that kind of, uh, it means that they're relevant. And that is obviously going to be a huge, huge, a huge contributing factor to the price. Now, I'm not saying that it's, it's you know, a bargain at £135 or euros, whatever it was. It certainly isn't. It's a big old chunk of change. But if that's the sort of thing that tickles your taste buds, then crack on. Brilliant. Brilliant. And you can't kind of slam anyone that does like that idea because they did, you know, if <laughs> I like vaping upside down in the bath with a snorkel on. Don't mean to say it's a bad thing. The fact that I've got a trout swimming between my legs is beside the point. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> but it might not be for everyone. Anyway, let's have another little vape of this monster, shall we? <clears throat> Daniel's got one. Has Daniel? Daniel, tell me if you've got one of these. Tell me if you've got one of these fucking huge things. Because that is going to be an interesting review, I imagine. <laughs> now then have a little uh, drinky poos with it ben i can't remember pronounce your last name any recommendations for a good two 18650 squonk box with variable wattage and a reasonable price looking for something like the geek vape thing that's not available anymore um there isn't anything i can think of that's a dual battery off the top of my head um, other than the Lost Vape drone. And so it's worth, if it's a little bit pricey on the new side for you, then it's worth checking out the uh, the sort of the forums and all that sort of stuff, Facebook pages and all that shit, so you can see if anyone flogs one second hand or put a want to buy thing up for a, uh, for a drone. Because if you can get hold of one of those, I think they're really great. They are really, really good. Justin Jones... As, uh, oh, DJLSB has got one of these big AT7 things going on. So keep an eye out for that one, gang. Now then, uh, someone keeps asking, because one, one's enough, not enough. Um, do you still have the dual 18650 squonk box you reviewed from M Vapes a while back? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. There it is. Boom. It's got no bottle in at the moment, but yes, 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 I do. So there we go. Question answered. Uh, what I would like to do, I might have to see if I can recess the 510 or even change that to a Mod Maker 510, which I think is a little bit thinner than the Fat Daddy. And that will mean that uh, the, 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 a big RDA might look all right on it without a gap. I might, I might, have, to, might have a go at that in my non-existent spare time. Nah. Now then. <sighs> oh, what have we got? I don't, I can't really see, I can't really see many. It's not a squanker. Who's saying that? Timothy, it's not a squanker. It's a squonker. Fuck it, I tell you, I blame Angsty 200% for calling it a squanker. And then Sean and the Plumes of Hazard for uh, for calling squonkers and squankers for ages. And uh, he knows it really annoys me. <clears throat> Sinistral is asking how the 3D printing is coming along. Um, it's not at the moment. I uh, I just haven't had the time to uh, get to play with things at the moment. I've still got to do my V2 of my little bottle squeezer thingy that I showed you in the was it the last vlog. Um, it's definitely certain, certainly happening. I've got kind of, kind of halfway through the design. But once I finish that design off, then I'll be able to bang it on the uh, printer, get that printed up and give it a dry run and see how that goes. So that's going to be happening. Um, Daniel's away, apparently. See you later, Daniel. Bye. Um, <clears throat> right. Now then, have I got anything else worth telling you, crazy gang? I'm not entirely sure I do, to be honest with you. I don't think there's there's really much to go on there. Um, at had at Hadi Morad need to post message with at vaping. Be Todd's reviews. Are you, are you drinking? Are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, um, 
what else have we got going on what else have we got going on i'm just having a look i hate i mean this is terrible viewing for people on uh, watching the playback of this because i don't have the chat on screen obviously i try and read out the questions that you guys throw up here so people feel involved if they're watching this on a playback um and so i do try my best but i know that it can be a little bit frustrating when it's a little bit of dead air and no one's uh, no one's playing <clears throat> but there we go there's a lot of things coming through here um Yes, yes, vaping biker is is drunk. Um, Queer your vape, vaping biker. Do you have an opinion on the Reload RDA? Yes, I have reviewed it. I reviewed it last year, I think, and I thought it was okay. I thought it was okay. It didn't blow my mind, to be honest with you. But uh, best go and check out that review for uh, for my opinion on that. I don't know if there's been any changes because it seems to have had a bit of a resurgence recently, and people have been talking about it quite a lot. Um, did they come up with a, a tank as well or something? I can't remember. But if it's the same reload that I looked at last year, then yes, that's already up on the channel and in the uh, in the review list. Um, I don't really think there's a hell of a lot coming up. Oh, we also did a review of the Vaporous RDA uh, from Watofo, and I uh, I cut out because I'm an idiot, cut out the bit where I said that there is a squonk pin. I literally had a piece recorded talking about there being a squonk pin, cut it out, didn't realise until I'd uploaded it, and by that point, I just wasn't going to uh, be doing it again. just wasn't happening. Um, and uh, and so I put it on a little card that comes up on the top of the screen, as well as putting it in the description as well. So before any more people whinge at me for that one, <laughs> that's a thing. Uh, today also had the release. As uh, Yesterday was the first five o'clock review. Uh, today was the second, and that was the Wyvern 235 from Lassimo. Lassimo, Lassimo. And uh, yeah, <laughs> inspired by a Ferrari, my ass. But it, uh, it uh, yeah, it's a thing. It's a, it's a cheap and cheerful, maybe as a throwaway mod, maybe as a sort of one that you don't really mind if it gets a little bit beaten up. Maybe that could be a thing. But uh, that'll be down to you guys to decide on that one. But you've got a whole bunch coming up. You've actually got you've got three RDAs, one mechanical mod, and a tank coming up over the next week. So um, that's uh, every night, 5 o'clock, on the Vaping Biker YouTube channel. You will see them. Boom. There we go. Still working on the T-shirts designs as well. And um, I've not managed to make any headway with that as yet. But uh, once I can get back from the holiday or the wedding and all that sort of good stuff, I will have, because I've managed to clear out a bunch of my review queue, it's going to mean that I'm hopefully going to have a little bit more time to work on the projects like the uh, like the, the, the bottle squeezy thingy and uh, T-shirts and all that sort of good shit. So there'll be more up and about for, uh, for you crazy guys to get involved with. If you do want a vaping biker T-shirt or trucker cap or mug or um, have I got other stuff on there? Can't remember. I think I even have a bag. <laughs> <laughs> just a little cloth bag with a logo on it <laughs> if you want any of that sort of stuff you can go on to vapingbiker.co.uk and uh, click on the merchandise tab and uh, there will there i think it's the merchandise tab and uh, you'll see a whole mess of stuff on there that you can play with and and order and yes once again i know i don't have any triple xl t-shirts and stuff on there at the moment i'm still trying to find someone that will do direct to garment order to order um uh, products at a reasonable cost and a reasonable quality uh, that will do the larger sizes. So I am still working on it, guys. So thank you very much for your patience if you are waiting. Uh, but uh, you may also have uh, have just thought, now bikes do it, can't be asked. <laughs> <laughs> but not all the t-shirts have my face on either. So that's a winner. But if you have a motorbike and you don't have a t-shirt and you vape, something wrong with you. There <laughs> it's a skull on one of them and everything. <laughs> Juice wise, what am I vaping on? I am vaping. I'm currently on the uh, the old daily suburban. That's kicking off through the on the uh, cheetah at the moment. I've got some Cerberus in the suck my mod tank. I have got some uh, some uh, Smurf from Vapergate in the uh, in the in the um, the the Volva Valuna. 
there we go <laughs> um and uh what have i got i've got something else oh yes i have i've been playing around with a few mixes again um i've got a couple of uh, interesting ones not that i've released on uh, e uh, eliquidrecipes.com as yet um i may i may do a couple i'm not entirely sure but i did have a bit of a mixing session on sunday now those of you that are waiting for the nightcore liquid mixer review that is definitely still happening but um I, uh, I got the, remember, if you saw last week's, I showed you that I had some different size bars to do the little spinny, spinny, roundy, mixy thing. I tried that out at the weekend, and it does a grand job. It does a really, really good job, so I'm super happy with that. Um, but what I'm going to do is, once I come back from holiday, um, then I will be uh, working on getting something out on that one. So hopefully that'll be a thing. Now then, <laughs> Deborah Connor, I'm waiting for the pink fluffy unicorn t-shirt. That may well happen. That may well happen because <laughs> with the designs that have been played with so far, then uh, then yes, there is a, uh, a little bit of pink fluffiness potentially happening. <laughs> but I do want to uh, just say a huge thank you once again to the, the uh, during the pre previous vlogs, the, um, the the contributions that people have made with the super chat um, have gone have have you know they they they'll certainly certainly help with the uh, the vets bills. So that's usually appreciated, and I don't think that when people do to make these donations i make enough of a thing and i don't really know how to you know really say thank you from the bottom of my socks but uh, but i really do mean it so thank you so much for all of those um i just uh, i just became aware of that so yeah thank you thank you so much now then uh, what else have we got let's have a few questions then because this isn't going to go on for much longer. I am going to be stopping very, very shortly. So uh, get your questions in at Vaping Biker to start with. And uh, everyone give Mr. Todd grief because I did invite him on, but he was too busy with his feet up and, um, I don't know, playing with his nipples in the shed, I think. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's have another little squeeze of drink. <clears throat> Right. Uh, uh, what else have we got? Have we got any questions? Any news on the Geek Vape Squonker? Don't forget to put at Vaping Biker at the start of your questions if you do want to uh, ask something. Um, hey, look, here he is, Mr. Nibble Tassels. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky <you> thought. <laughs> Well, you know, it kind of had to be done, didn't it? <laughs> but just because you're running out of things to talk about, you insult me. That's fine. Yes. That's it's my go-to thing. It's just you know, it makes life easier. <laughs> 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 uh, um, someone asked what was the black squan cry was vaping on, and if it was this one, it's the uh, the git. Oh, I've still got the picture on, Mister Todd. There, let's take you off. Um, is the geek oh. vape? G box S one S box G one hundred S G. I can never get it right. G box S one hundred. Let's go with that, shall we? Uh, Which you can't buy anymore because they don't make them anymore. So sorry, sorry. Uh, Pardon me. Thoughts on the Gala Tech? Let's hear your thoughts on the Gala Tech, Mister Mo Mister uh, Mister Squat, uh, Mister Todd. Forgot your what's, name. What's the Gala Tech again? Oh, I've just read Modus R D R D A, my friend. Um. I have I recorded my review tonight. Oh. And I think it's an excellent RDA, but I just wouldn't use it for squonking. It's no. Fair enough. It's, it's really good, but it, it holds next to no juice whatsoever. So and uh, now. Nah. No, no, no. Just not working out overly well for you. I've still got to do plenty with mine. I'm quite upset that I managed to to, to snap a, an, an O-ring just by taking the cap off. That doesn't bode well. But um, I haven't actually put it in squawk mode yet, so I will be having a go at that at some point to see if you're right and uh, and uh, if I can support your review with, uh, with giving out more information. <laughs> Are you trying to say that I may be wrong? <laughs> I would never presume such a thing. Just... <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you got one of these bad boys today as well. Do you want to show? I mean, I've got reasonable size hands for a bloke, I think. But uh, do you want to show the world what it looks like in your honking great big paws? Oh, there you go. It's massive. Yeah. yeah. But it's like you, mate. It's, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's just meant to look like a water cooled PC. Um, yeah. 
but there is no water cooling in there whatsoever just to emphasize that um which is it's pretty shocking because part of their whole kind of uh, advertising thing is first water cooled mod isn't it yeah yeah it's a bit yeah i don't know yeah i don't know if that's just because it's chinglish maybe they're or but then they did spend what was it twenty one thousand four hundred and fifty six hours designing it <laughs> yeah, apparently so designed yeah. by people in california i believe well that's what it says in the box so it must be true yes absolutely <laughs> um right quick couple of questions then Matt matthews matthewson uh will you be at vapor expo in october i will be absolutely and i'm still trying to convince mr todd to come to that one uh, <clears throat> um zach says vaping biker review he, he's demanding he's just saying review the 26 650 stacked omega with the temple rda not there's nothing else how so, can you disagree with that well just just because you just because you didn't say any nice things i'm not i didn't say please i'm gonna um, no i'm not going to <laughs> <laughs> plus i don't have a stacked omega with uh, a, a temple rda so i can't <laughs> uh, Oh dear, look, Hades asking, what's my favorite squonk setup? And what bike bike do I own? Wee. Um, I know people don't always kind of tune into the vlogs and so may not may or may not know. It, the bike was featured, or the main bike was featured in a few vlogs last summer. Um, so uh, that's uh, that's that's definitely a thing. It's a Honda Shadow 750 Black Spirit. Boom. There you go. Um, what product are you looking forward to the most? I, uh, is there anything you're looking forward to, Mr. T? Um, <laughs> um, um, oh yes, the 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 melody lowrider squonker. Yes, I'm looking forward to trying that out. Absolutely. Do you want to tell anyone what that what that's about, or wait until you get the thing? You don't have to sort of expand on that if you don't want to. Yeah, it's just it's just a squonker, but he's using the an atomizer bottle instead of instead of pushing the bottle you push down on the your atty which will then squish juice up inside so yes it's, it's just a variation on a theme so yeah it's a cool idea and i like the look of the box because it has like a brushed stainless door on it doesn't it yeah it's pretty smart pretty yeah smart. i like all that i think we need to be moving away from wood and plastic now yeah um can you take mods abroad in your hold luggage says simon rogers yes you can as long as they don't have the batteries in them and the batteries are in your uh, in your carry-on generally what whatever i'm going to decide to take over the next week i'm pretty much going to have all of my vaping gear bar the e-liquid um in my carry-on to be honest with you which is just going to be a couple of setups um and uh, in the in the in the the the, the hold luggage there's going to be the anything else i need to take like a, a rebuild kit or something like that yeah what, what are you taking no idea not I'm, a clue yes <laughs> <laughs> i am uh, i'm very very strongly thinking that i might take i was going to take this um which is the pollux 25 that i reviewed ages ago but i really like this setup i really like the sub ohm tank i think it's really really cool um but the problem is i think it's like a lipo thing and i don't i don't really know how I feel about taking a lipo on a plane, to be honest with you. 18650s and stuff I'm all good with, but lipos, I don't know how I feel about that. So, uh, uh. <laughs> um, but no, I will probably end up taking the Asmodus V2, Minikin V2, and uh, and something else. And that's as far as I've got <laughs> in the deciding process. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what I will not be taking, and that's that because I don't want to take an extra three and a half stone of weight with me. <laughs> um, any recommendations on a decent battery charger? Mine seems to take forever to charge. I I use generally the Nightcore um, D4. I've got a D4 and a D2 here. My wife uses a D4, but uh, um, yes, that's it. There we go. Boom. Recommendation but i have had them for ages um uh hades got a honda goldwing valkyrie nice i like the valkyrie it's a nice bike and uh, don't don't put the goldwing bit in front of it don't do that because the valkyrie is cool by itself so don't associate it with goldwing nonsense <laughs> um <clears throat> right what's going on dean when are you going to make an rta or rda at one hundred thousand subscribers there we go boom <laughs> 
you make an RTA, now that I would like to see. An RDA, yes, but an RTA? Oh. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. I'll have, a, I'll have a pump action RTA. How would you like those apples? <laughs> um, will you come over to Stuttgart next year? Um, at Todd's Reviews has all the contacts, <laughs> according to Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> I'd love to come over to Stuttgart, but um, Mr. Todd is our European. Um, uh, what's it called when you're when you kind of represent your country? And <laughs> um, um, I'm, I'm the only person. ambassador. There yes. the ambassador. That's what you are. Our UK ambassador for vaping in in uh, in European countries. <laughs> Nobody wants me. <laughs> I'll take you. You'll fit in my suitcase, mate. I'll take you over. Thank you, mate. <laughs> um, the Wyvern Lassimo mod is not good at all. My 510 connector came off while tightening down the screws on the Vaporous RDA, which is sitting on top of the mod. I sent you a video on Facebook. Did you? Thank you very much for that, Babas. Not a situation that I've come into contact with, I've, I'm, and I'm not overly uh, delicate with my mods, and I tend to screw the living shit out of things. So it's certainly not something that I've had a problem with. Uh, but hopefully you got back in touch with the company you bought it from, and they got back in touch with Wyvern to uh, tell them to sort their shit out sharpish, I hope. <laughs> now then, what else have we got? Um, There's a message from a guy called Lando who's asking you what your favourite RDT is, but he's saying that the Cleto sucks for flavour, which I'm very surprised at. Uh, probably depends which coil you're using. Uh, oh, which use the zero point, yeah, use the 0 0.4, because it definitely does not suck for flavour. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely, and that's on the that's the original Cleto coil, isn't it? Rather than the yeah. one twenty, the uh, the the one twenty, I think, um, was a little bit lacking in flavour, and the EXO does need winding up a lot because there's that non-adjustable air in there. So, yeah. I mean, you do you can put that zero point four original Cleto coil in the EXO as well, which is great, um, and you can get a darn good vape from that. But uh, but yeah, point four, I've I've had no problems with them either, to be honest. Uh, Marcus wants to know, have I ever had the pleasure of twisting Mr. T's nipples? I've grabbed your nipples. I grabbed your left breast at one point while you were sitting down, maybe while you were talking to Mr. Green as well. The, the very first time I met you was... <laughs> 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 Absolutely. <laughs> you forget me in a hurry. No, you won't. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, Guy Brush asked, did I hear about the Dark Star copyright thing? I did, but I haven't heard anything official, and so I'm not having an opinion on it until I hear official stuff, because the vaping world is is hellish when it comes to uh, Chinese whispers and various other things. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, oh, our church, oh, our church, I like that name. Um, hit the thumbs up, show Dean some love. That would be nice. That would be nice. Thank you very much. Um what else have we got? What else? Any questions for Mr. Todd while we're still on? Any questions? Any There's questions? Mr. Bill Hubbard is asking about the signature tips. Uh, stop making the SQ squonker, or are they just between batches? They are just between batches. Do they still, um, do you still have to buy it and then they make it? No, they went out and they, I think they, was it 8,000 or 16,000 quid? The, no. Was it more than that? They went and bought uh, a new CNC machine. So, they are still rattling them out, but the problem is that they do them in batches for countries. So they'll do America, batch for America. So they've got to work their way around. So uh, gotcha. gotcha. That was that was always the the the, the issue that, that I'd I'd kind of or one of the issues that that had frustrated me with a company of that kind of size and uh, and uh, that had been reasonably well off when it comes to the earning in the UK I think that um that they were kind of they were building to order rather than creating stocks and allowing you to build them uh, buy them yeah. it's pretty shit it's pretty shit um. <clears throat> but there we go now then did you have the Cthulhu Cito RDA no I did not there you go that's that's uh that's a nice, easy answer to that one. <laughs> Both and Biker and Todd's Reviews, are you looking forward to the OATI V2? Well, I personally am apoplectic with excitement about the whole situation, purely because it gives me an opportunity to watch a Mr. Todd review. I, I've, I've not getting it. I'm not getting it. Ah, bollocks. <laughs> no, no, that's, um, I didn't even know there was a V2. There you go, you see, you're out of the loop. You've clearly upset someone there. 
<laughs> yeah, I wasn't actually, yeah, that compliment. Well, no, I did like the first one. It just had the screws for trapping the wire were stupid. Yeah. And I don't think they liked me for saying that. Yeah. I never I never got either of them, but um, no bad thing because uh, because that may allow me to watch you. So I'm okay with that. Um, Dean or Todd, will you be reviewing the Aspire Speeder mod? I think that's the new one that's like the 200 watt thing that Aspire have just done. Uh, they don't speak to me anymore. <laughs> I haven't heard from them for ages either. So uh, <laughs> I have no idea. And I, I generally quite like a number of the Aspire products, so I don't know why they're upset with me. <laughs> It'll just turn up in the post one day. They won't tell you. It'll just turn up. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. <laughs> um vaping biker new 2700 or 26650 mex uh no i think the last obviously we did the triple x and we did the admiral um as 2700s but i haven't got any others on the uh on the review queue or that i'm expecting to come in in the near future which is fine by me because until i can get hold of the single cut co the single coil the single cell of the sanyo 2700a i'm all right because i'm not really seeing any great benefits in 2700s to be honest with you and if anything in mix they uh they tend to be worse than vtc 5a's when you're on a low build so meh uh -huh um mush the snowman is asking me about the single uh, best single build rta now i am absolutely not the best person to ask that question to <laughs> have you got any ideas you can throw into that um depends it depends on how you like to build and what kind of airflow you like what kind of power you like to put through it um there's so many there's so many um you need to be more specific young man <laughs> there we go um professor fugelhor <laughs> do you still use your rogue mod and will you be adding it to the voltage drop table no i do not and i do not have it that's been moved on now um daniel wright todd's reviews did you get rid of talk talk wi-fi <laughs> have you got a stalker <laughs> <laughs> daniel daniel's daniel's my number he's my number three stalker uh no i've still got it because it was too much of a pain in the arse to get rid of it and it turns out that it was something i was doing wrong not talk talk oh you didn't tell me that how am i supposed to take the piss out of you if i don't understand your fuck ups because <laughs> i make so many <laughs> 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 what else have we got going on here um at todd's reviews at the speed you can what, what? <laughs> i think he's saying that that given how often i upset mod makers uh nobody's going to send me any gear <laughs> well, that's fair enough <laughs> Uh, now then, um, Lassie said, asked me, will I be reviewing Daniel's new RDA? I hope to, but I, I don't have it currently. Uh, I, I certainly something, I think I've spoken to Daniel about it as well. So, yeah, I certainly hope to. Now then, what have we got? Dino, you've had a blow wave. No, I haven't. That's just the way my, my, my locks go. Because, you know, I'm, if I was in the 80s, I would have great kind of 80s pop film kind of hair, you know. I could be in the UK Breakfast Club with hair like this. I'm sure I could. Anyway, I'm getting <laughs> a cut tomorrow. <laughs> you, oh, you're getting the beard done as well? No. No. Oh. No. No, it's um, it's 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 re I'm having problems. I think with all the stress and things recently, I've actually lost. There was quite a bit of hair coming out of the old beard. So I'm uh, I'm a bit loath to give any of it away. So I, I I'm not kind of brushing it very much at the moment. I'm just letting it kind of get bushy and and angry, and then I'll have a little tread trim up in a in a month or two's time. But lots of uh, lots of beard oil and uh, and beard balm to keep things looking sexy. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, if you or any of your friends happen to own a beard oil company, there is sponsorship availability on the Vaping Biker channel on the YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well i can't have a, a vaping sponsor so <laughs> let's, let's do an advert of uh of vaping i could totally do it can we can i use cerberus as beard oil do you reckon i think you could yes this vlog was brought to you by beard oil extravaganza cerberus from dark star vapors smells lovely feels great and oh those sexy custard times you can have <laughs> All right, maybe not. <laughs>
<laughs> maybe, maybe I am missing a little bit of sleep. <laughs> oh dear, Geek Vapor coming out with a waterproof mod, says Daniel. Yes, yes, we did. I think we mentioned it earlier on, and um, uh, yeah, twenty six six fifty. And I thought twenty six six fifties had kind of they were all, they were so twenty sixteen. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. I don't really understand the point of a waterproof mod to be honest with you, particularly when it has um, what could be leather on the outside. But, uh, but yeah, ah, Mr. T's got waterproof anger. i got one. And and all it is is that inside, all the electronics are just coated in grease. That's it. Yeah. That's what makes it waterproof. Isn't uh, the, um, the DNA 75C and <laughs> what have you, and the DNA 60 board and stuff, they're, they're supposed to be splash-proof, I think, aren't they? I, haven't, I actually do not know. As your mod, you can actually dunk it in water if you're so inclined for any reason, or you know, if you drop it on the toilet or something. Yes, um, I, I, I vape in the bath quite a lot, so but... <laughs> so weird. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I mean, I've I've never had a requirement for a waterproof mod, but apparently, if it's a thing, it's a thing. Vape and biker, why is Todd's reviews always getting the expensive stuff? Because he's the godfather of UK vaping and has been in it forever five years mr t's been in the game now so has uh, has earned his stripes on all sorts of stuff so he gets some nice bits and bobs now and then <laughs> and i don't have a beard and he doesn't have a beard or a snapback yeah <laughs> awesome cool hip t-shirts <laughs> hey, don't be knocking marks and spencers man <laughs> <laughs> um Jax Scott has asked me if I still use the broadside much and what's your favorite mech? I can't tell you what my favorite mech is because as I always say, it's going to be dependent on what I feel like vaping on any given day. I don't use, I haven't used the broadside much of late purely because I've had so much other stuff I've had to use. So um, because of the amount of stuff I've had in the review queue, I've not really been able to vape my kind of my favorite gear, you know? So um, that's been a, a constant pain in the ass. Uh, but uh, the, the, the most, most recent favorite mech has definitely been the underdog though so um that's been the thing that's been uh, making me jolly happy and staying on the desk for the minute but i've still got the broadside and that will be uh, getting used at some point in time i need i need some copper outer uh, why has no one done an rda that has like a copper sleeve around the outside they have have they yeah who um no, 1922 and 2014 i used to have a copper rda but it was actually it was a stainless steel inner with a copper sleeve over the top. Um, we don't need more of those. Yeah, um, it's quite smart. It's quite smart. That needs to be a thing. Someone needs to do that. I guarantee. After this vlog, someone's going to do it. They're going to nick our idea. But copywriting it now, son. It's done. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, Roberto F says, Dean, you are the Il Santone della Svapo clone. Am I? I don't know what that means, but thank you very much. <laughs> do, you, do you understand what that means? I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> That's going to be worth a Google. <clears throat> oh, dear. Um, Svigo Rules is asking about um, affordable squonkers, regulated squonkers. And uh, if you can pick up the Geek Vape, the S Box, G Box, S100, if you can pick one of those up somewhere, even though they stopped making them, those, or even if you want to start having a go into it, even the Kanga Drip Box 160 isn't terrible. So there you go, a couple of cheapies for you. Yeah. Um, Lando, I tried growing a beard and I just ended up looking like an asshole. Well, it's not stopped me, Lando. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear triple x or admiral which one do i like i like them both for different reasons because they're made of different materials there we go <laughs> um lando vaping biker he's lando's on his question time tonight isn't he um what's your favorite cotton i use muji for most of the things because i get through it so quickly it's ridiculous um a big bag of muji will usually last me I don't know, four to six months, something like that. So uh, I do get through it quick. and um, But otherwise, I use cotton bacon, vapor's choice, and uh, whatever I, I find. <laughs> You're a Muji fan as well, aren't you, Mr. T? I think so. Muji and cotton bacon. Yeah. I used to, when I was doing a lot of tank stuff, I used to enjoy using cotton bacon in tanks, I must admit. 
Now then, what else have we got going on here? Dean, have you tried the Death Wish Unholy RDA or Goat Tube Mech? No, I haven't. Um, but I wouldn't mind it. Um, the goat. Yeah, oh, because yeah. the goat, an old, oh, no, I'm thinking of something else from 2013. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the GOAT, I think it's going to stand for something. Don't know what it stands for. But I kind kind of liked the uh, the the. I'm really enjoying this death trap from Death Wish. So I'd like to I'd like to see a, a few more bits and bobs from the Death Wish gang because um, I think they're uh, they're probably some some pretty sweet products to be honest with you. But uh, like I say, not tried any of the others, so I can't tell you. Right. <sighs> have you seen any other questions for you that I may have glanced over because it's all about me? Uh, oh, sorry. Um, blah, blah, blah. Ah. Mr. Todd Wicks with a tampon. <laughs> no, that's grim. You, you have. I'm saying nothing. Um, <laughs> no, uh, the, the, somebody asked about UCT. I'm sorry, I've lost the question. Uh, Guy Brush asks, will there be a new version of the Russian by UCT? Are they still alive? I have no idea. I've not heard from them in a very, very long time. I uh, suppose they've got nobody to call in anymore. Anyway. Uh, oh, oh, Mr. Todd. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, oh, there we go. Someone's asked uh, where you get the uh, Muji bags from. Can't remember who that was. Jared asked that one. Um, just from Muji. I go on to muji.co.uk or wherever it is and buy it there. Yeah. Um. Oh, Bill, Bill, uh, Bill, uh, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Bill Hubbard. Keek. That's all. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Is something getting sent to you? <laughs> no, no, no. I just saw him posting there. I just wanted to say, yeah. Keek. <laughs> um, <laughs> Roberto F says, Mary to Lung, RDA to Squonk. Personally, now, I'm not the, the one for this, so I'm going to let Mr. T talk about this. But personally, I am a massive fan of the no-name um, little RDAs, with the no-legal being the most recent one that I've had as a mouth to lunger and a little dinky little flavor machine. Fucking superb. Fabulous. Yeah, that is good. That's good. Any um, other options that you can uh, you can suggest, Mr. T? Um, as far as it goes for current ones, no, not really. But, I mean, like, I'm a very, well... <laughs> If anybody in chat has actually heard of one of these, I will be amazed. Um, the 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 nupping, um from 2013 again. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, every everything I vape from is uh, pre 2013. I think. Um, sorry. <laughs> um. Any other questions, guys? Anything else you want to quickly ask us? Because you've got four minutes. Four minutes, and then I'm ending the live stream. Uh, 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 Phil asked what I think of the KFUN V5. I did a review on that a while ago, so go and check that out, and that'll tell you all you need to know, Phil. Oh, somebody's had an up and Ah, oh, John. See? Might anyone John had one? There you go. Look, you see. <laughs> so I wasn't far away when I said you were playing me your nipples. It was just your nuppings. <laughs> it was great. the guy that made it. His his atty was called the nuppin, and he's actually got one of his squonkers was called the sumpin. <laughs> um, I like that. Um, <laughs> are 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 you going to any other vape events this year aside from Expo? Yes, I am. I will be going to Vape Fest in Shrewsbury. Uh, when is it? Is it next month? It's next month, isn't it? It's in uh, three or four weeks' time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I'll be going to that one. Absolutely. Yourself? Um, the same. I shall see you there. And what else are you going? Uh, Paris. <laughs> Anywhere else? Barcelona. <laughs> Twat. <laughs> <laughs> where else? Uh, no, but come on. Where else are you going? Nowhere. You, I thought you're not going to Manchester and London and whatnot. Why am I going to Manchester and London? Have I forgotten uh, an event? <laughs> there's, there's, there's other events on this year, apparently. Oh, well, I, I know nothing of them, so I, I don't know. I don't know. And it's also going to be down to sort of pennies because it's a, 
it's as you know it's a costly thing even though you go down to these things just for shits and giggles and to say hello to people it's also one of those things where you do spend money on beer and lodgings and fuel and whatever else and um because i'm not allowed to go anywhere by myself because i'm a hugely irresponsible individual that end up in a gutter uh, <laughs> i have to be looked after by my wife <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's we like to have a little uh, weekend away now and then. So uh, there may be something. I don't know. I'm not in. Uh, I'm not entirely against the idea, but uh, it's going to be down to all manner of cost and things and stuff and shit. Um, Phil Phil's asking if I rate the copper vape squonker. I was actually going to go and buy one again the other day. So that's how much I rate it. If you're looking for a a cheap mechanical squonker, then yeah, I would still rate it. Um, the atty that it comes with is shit, uh, but there's so many cheap squonking atties you can get now. Just yeah, and doesn't, doesn't that have a, a funky thing going on underneath the five ten? So like when you're in there, it's all connected up, so you can't. I don't know. You can't chat. Yeah, there doesn't isn't the top cap of the bottle kind of molded into the five ten pin or something? No, no, you can take it to bits. Okay, I thought it was all one thing, so you could only use that bottle in there, which was which was the hugely annoying thing. No, it's 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 loosely it's inspired <laughs> inspired <laughs> by another make mod. I think it was the was it the TV. I um, could be wrong on that, but um, yeah, it's it's if you're yeah if you're after a budget squonker, um, and it's it's solid. It really is solid. Right, gotcha, uh, gotcha. Uh, 28 quid you can get 28 or 30 pounds you can get it for well it's fair enough isn't it um is there anything else going on there do you know the cult limit you try not what dennis say Cezanne says do you have a cult limit you try not to breach when you're adjusting the wattage i don't really understand the question there buddy don't know what you're going for it's just essentially essentially i'm tasting to vape no vaping to taste there we go <laughs> <laughs> queer or vape asks if i'm going to paris for expo no i would absolutely love to however um i'm not important enough to get taken over there and it's not something that i can afford so <laughs> sorry <laughs> um yeah <Bellend. laughs> uh, cyber chin asks if the narda is still my favorite rda yes there you go nice one um Tots reviews didn't di uh, didn't buy the kit bought a hadley and goon 1.5 for it thank you phil hindu oh that must have been for the copper vape i imagine yeah yeah, yeah. um vape fish i uh, get it up you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <More> <laughs> yes it's we're not fat we're we're cuddly <laughs> we're well insulated and yeah. under tall and i don't know <laughs> uh, uh, um is there any update on the geek vape squonker asks liam no there isn't but there hopefully will be very very soon so hopefully we'll be able to give you some more information on that in the coming i would say probably three to four weeks fingers crossed yeah. now then I think that just about wraps up uh, wraps up the time, I think. Yeah. Um, I know somebody's asked, Vapefish says, hashtag cuddly bastards. I'll go with that. I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you uh, if you enjoyed this, thank you very much for, uh, for watching. If you're watching this on a replay, don't forget that I am not here for the next seven days, but there will be a review up every day this week, um, uh, five o'clock on this channel. So if you haven't clicked it already, please make sure you click the little bell um, to give you the notification on next to the subscribe button and uh, if you wouldn't mind having a little thumbs up for the video that would always be nice as well thank you very much indeed hugely appreciated but um but no otherwise thank you very much for coming on for the last few minutes mr t a pleasure as always young sir i hope you have a tremendous holiday absolutely i'll be i'm the best man as well <laughs> so <laughs> Oh dear! It means I've got to write. Well, I've got to. I've got to say a speech. I've got to. I've got to do a speech, which um, may or may not end with me crying, and may or may not end with me forgetting everything, and I, I may even just go and pass out on the floor. Who knows? 
I was best man at another mate's wedding a few years ago and I was sitting on a table with his daughters and I was trying to be kind of the roughy tufty kind of bikery kind of guy in a suit and I was all uh, all proud of myself and what have you and I stood up to do the uh, the speech and uh, they're both lovely people and I ended up getting about four lines in and then blubbing like a fucking baby and couldn't finish the rest of the speech what a bell end <laughs> all man points lost but there we go anyway so I am going to take myself and my uh, big old eye bags off to bed and so I can start prepping for tomorrow. Like I said, plenty of videos coming up this week and uh, I may do something while I'm away depending on what happens when it comes to the uh, the, the internet connections and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, if you're not already on it, please go and check out my Vaping Biker Facebook page. Uh, I do lots of updates and stuff and shit and things on there so it's always worth checking out and also please check out my Instagram because I'm an incredibly talented photographer so <laughs> oh i'm not really i'm just really trying hard to, to to get just that little bit over the 10 grand because i'm nearly at 10 grand anyway that's very much thank you thank you so much for everyone that stuck with us thank you for everybody that's been in the chat and uh, asked questions hopefully we've answered as many as we could and uh, you've had a good time with us but in the meantime shall we cloud out mr t let's have a little little cloudy oh. session shall we to use two because it's tiny me things. <laughs> Have it large. <laughs> <laughs>